Welcome back to this new devlog of mine. In this video we will cover what I've been working on this last week. I started off this week by designing the drop off point for the robotic arm. This is the last step for the track system of the robotic arm and now I'm finally done with the track system. So I now I designed everything, the next thing to do was to fix up all the errors that there were. Some of them were that I couldn't put the tracks correctly on the board because the board was a bit too small. So I had to also replace the lower track with a smaller one so that it would fit on the board together with the supports. This weekend I also decided to stream again and I streamed for about 10 hours and got a lot of stuff done. The first thing I did in the stream was to mount the track that I designed previously on the board so that I could finally continue with my other goals. So after I mounted the whole track system I could continue to the wiring. There I first created a circuit diagram so that I would know where everything was connected. Then I wired up everything, this took me some time. There I also took like 40 minutes uh, to realize that I had the connection that would control a servo connected to a wrong pin and this took me like 40 minutes to figure out and yeah, it was, was unusual time spent but quite funny. After I wired up everything, which took like half of the stream because I created the plan and I messed around with it a bit, I could start with the programming. There I did some basic setup for the whole program. So first of all, I declared all the pins where the servos and motors are connected so that I can easily access them. After I got the basic setup done, I continued to work on the smooth servo movement script that basically moves the servo smooth and slowly to the position I want them to. Because if you use the usual script for the Arduino, which is basically just servo.write and then you give the angle, you can run into a bit of a problem with my robotic arm and there I played around a lot because you need to get the delay between each step and the amount that the servo should take just right so that it wouldn't stutter and be even worse than the normal script. And now it works really well. I have the perfect movement out. And next I try to connect the stepper motor, which is just this basic uh, stepper motor which you get in every Arduino kit. It works quite well for a bit smaller projects, but for my project this is just way too weak. When I tried to connect it, it was just, you couldn't even place your finger on it and then it would just not be able to move anymore. So I had to upgrade to a new servo. I luckily had some a bigger and better servos lying around, which were for my CNC machine that I built with my father and they should work quite well, but I'm pretty sure that they work a bit too well because they're not usually used for those small projects, they have a lot of push behind them. This is where I'm currently at. For next week I will have to redesign the base plate to fit this new servo and also a better mounting system so that the robotic arm won't be mounted so loosely to the base plate. So that's basically it for the progress this week. If you want to join the discord, it is either on the QR code I will display here or the first link in the description. There you can join and find some my like-minded people so that we can work and help each other out in our projects. So have a look and I see you in the next video.